My name is Angela. Hey, hello. Welcome to my very own show. I'll introduce my friends to you. Oh, no, it's Minnie Poo. Shooby dooby doo wah wah. My name is Angela. And you are not the net man war is a stuff of your best time. And now to today's story. Starring me and not starring Nanette Memoir. <laughs> Today we are on a field trip to Ocean Land to see the Happy Happy Whale Show. Shark attack! <laughs> Mr. Abadi, we are not here to engage in horseplay with cheap souvenirs. Take note of the majestic beauty of these aquatic behemoths as they cavort and rollick for our amusement. Mrs. Frank sure seems to like whales. I wonder if she feels some sort of special kinship with them. Okay, whichever one of you super kids catches this red ball gets to be whale assistant for the day. <laughs> hey, I caught the red ball. I get to be whale assistant. I never get to be whale assistant. Super. Now, for your first trick, all you have to do is climb the ladder and hold this fishy here. Then Sugar Pie the Killer Whale will jump up and snatch it out of your hand with her razor-sharp teeth. Razor-sharp teeth? Hurry up, Angela Anaconda. We don't have all day. <gasps> hey, that was cool. Can I do it again? Nope. Next time, she might bite you. But for our grand finale, you can give Sugar Pie a big happy, happy whale kiss. And if Sugar Pie thinks you're super duper, she might even do a flip for you. Sugar Pie the Killer Whale likes me. Sea creatures are the coolest creatures in the entire sea. And you know what else lives in the ocean? Sea slugs. And you know what else? Lionfish. And you know what else? Moray eels. And you know what else? Angela, I hope you're not planning on listing every single creature that lives in the ocean. I can't help it, Gina Lash. On account of I have decided to devote my life to studying underwater creatures that live underwater. That sounds tray appropriate. I always said there was something fishy about Angela. Maybe she can grow up to be a sea hag. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what Finny Ninny says? I am going to find some underwater life and start studying it. Grandma Lou! Hey, Angie Pansy. Hmm. How's my favorite freckle face, hmm? I was so excited about hey. underwater life that I almost completely forgot that Grandma Lou is here. She's on her way to the state junk fair where she sells old junk. Grandma Lou, guess what? I caught a ball and kissed a whale that splashed Ninny Poo, and that is why I'm going to study underwater life that live underwater. I just have to think of ways to study it. Well, I tell you what, Griddle Cakes, I might have just the thing right here amongst my valuables. There, found my pet gator, Barney Sr., chewing on that one time. Wow, with this thing, I can go to Lake Tapwater and see underwater creatures that are under... You see any underwater life yet, Angela? Nothing yet, Johnny Abadi. Wait, I see something! And it is something big! Hopefully it is some sort of horrible, undiscovered sea monster for me to discover. <laughs> what? Is it a horrible sea monster? Worse! It is Nanette Manoir! <gasps> What were you all doing underwater? Was taking my scuba class on Lake Dad to look at fish in lake. You mean fish like the kind of fish that live underwater? Of course, fish underwater! That is perfect. Where can I sign up for the scuba class? You can. Must be 13 years old. But, but how come Nanette Manwar gets to take scuba class? I'm qualified for this class because my father hired famous oceanographer Jean Poisson to give me private scuba lessons. We the scuba experience also qualifies you to get into class. Then that is what I have to do. Get previous scuba experience. It says here that an experienced scuba diver knows it is best to walk backwards in swim fins so as to avoid tripping. Backwards. Got it. And you'll have to learn how to defend yourself from sharks. 
that a diver must learn to clear their snorkel with a quick blast of exhaled breath. Okay, ready. <laughs> I told you Angela was engaging in unsavory lunchtime behavior. Yay! <laughs> Why are we doing this? Seasickness <laughs> prevention training. <laughs> Why did I have those fish sticks? <laughs> hey, hey, let us in. Give us the keys. <laughs> And I even learned to walk backwards in my flippers. Watch! Not good enough to qualify for class, must have gone on actual dive with scuba instructor. Well, you're a scuba instructor. You could take me on a dive. Not likely. Tomorrow my day off. Tomorrow also last day to register for class. But how will I ever find another scuba instructor? Don't worry, Angela. <laughs> you can just hire a diver to take you on a dive in your pool. Oops, I forgot. You don't have a pool. <gasps> I forgot, you don't have a brain. So if I don't find a diving instructor to take me on a dive tonight, I won't get to be in scuba class. And if I don't get to be in scuba class, I won't get to see underwater creatures. Well, you're in luck, Angie Pangie. You see, I used to teach scuba class back when I worked in the Circus Aquarius. Why, I even had me an underwater manatee show where I conducted a manatee wedding. Pronounced them manatee and wife, I did. <laughs> I even brought my old diving helmet to sell at the junk fair. Oh, I could even take you on a dive in that thing if you want. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, let's go to the lake. Oh, no, griddle cakes. It'll be too dangerous to do your first dive in the lake. We should start with a swimming pool. Who's got a pool in this town? Well, Nanette may have war, but we can't ask her to let us use her pool. Who says we're going to ask? Grandma Lou, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, this isn't even our pool or anything. Shoot, we ain't hurting no one. Besides, we'll be in and out where you can save possum pellets. Now, you just fetch up that old shoehorn and you got yourself an old fish will dive. Mm, wow, underwater is even better than I thought that it would be. I can't wait to get into scuba class. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, what's that? Wow! <laughs> now she here, you you put her back down! Oh great! Angela Anaconda's been in our pool. Now we'll have to have it drained and sanitized. Just let me finish my dive, or else I can't get into scuba class. Not a chance, Angela. I demand that you vacate our property. Bon chance! Which is French for, I'm calling the authorities if you're not gone by the time I count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six million leagues under the sea is where I am right now. I am here searching for the most horrible creature ever seen under the sea. A horrible, repulsive mini fish. Oh dear, the loathsome creature has captured me. But unfortunately for you, ninny fish, I will be saved by my grandma Lou and her trusty married manatees. The gruesome ninny fish, making life safe and less sticky for all creatures under the sea. So now we will take the ninny fish to Ocean Land, where we will teach her to do tricks. <laughs> Play volleyball with killer whales. And maybe we'll even conduct a wedding where the ninny fish has to marry the great white shark. You may now eat the bride. <laughs> Come on, Angela. We best be going. Even lousy swamp varmints like these two got the right to kick us off their own property. Oh, too bad you didn't get that shoehorn. I can't call it no official first dive unless you bring something up from the bottom. Hey, wait! I did bring something up from the bottom. Well... Tarnation there, Angie Pangie. You found yourself a genuine sapphire jewel. Wow, look how it sparkles. 
Pardonnez-moi. Did you say sapphire? I do declare. You found the very sapphire I lost from my charm bracelet. As your generous reward for finding it, I'm willing to forget this whole trespassing incident. Hm. Congratulations, Angie Pangy. <laughs> it ought to be a cinch for you to get into that scuba class now. Thanks, Grandma Lou. But I don't think I want to be a scuba diver anymore. You don't? No way! After seeing that sapphire, I want to be a geologist and study rocks and stuff. I want to study sapphires and rubies and quartzes and volcano rocks and gray rocks and this may seem like a normal day at our house, but it is not, on account of we are not exactly in our house. <laughs> nice catch, Derek. Oh. No, no, wait! Body slam! <laughs> That's enough, kids. Let's not forget we are in a museum window. About two months ago, my mom entered the Tapwater Springs Museum of Art art contest for a family life exhibit on family life. <laughs> Mark and Derek. If the museum wants an exhibit about family life, they ought to put our family on display. Angela, that's it. So we won the contest, and now we have to sit in this window all week watching everyone watch us. What if nobody shows up? Relax, dear. I'm sure some real art connoisseurs are on their way right now. Oh, my. What do you make of that? I reckon it's supposed to represent some kind of clash between authority and anarchy. I see it as more of a commentary on the absurdity of life in a society dictated by clothing. Well, I just can't get over how amazingly lifelike they look. Why are all those people watching us? Are their TVs broken? No, now, dear. Just pretend you're at home and not in a window with dozens of people staring at you. Act natural. Now I know how a monkey in a zoo must feel. Come on, kid, do something. You're boring us out here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, boy. Mm, that was very, very nice. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is kind of fun. In an unfun kind of way. I believe you have some homework to do. But, Dad, I was just having... No buts, Angela. Homework comes first. If a train is traveling north for 120 miles at 30 miles per hour, how long will it take to reach its destination? How should I know? I've never even been on a train. <laughs> Let's see. That would be total elapsed time divided by distance traveled. Man, I never thought art could be so hard. I've got it. It would take four hours. <laughs> Question number two. So what's it like being in the window, Angela? I didn't really like it at first, but now it's great. Don't you miss your real house? Not really. In the window, I don't have to take out the trash. I don't have to scoop up King's poop. And best of all, I don't have to take a bath. On account of we don't have a bathtub. Whoa! <laughs> Personally, I find the anaconda art display tray gauche, which is French for I'd rather stare at a wall. Yeah, a wall without windows. A wall without windows or a door. Think what you want. But I am starting to think that I could live in that window forever. <laughs> Angela, honey, you really shouldn't be doing that. Remember, we're supposed to be a representation of real life. 
That means acting normal. Like your brothers. Huh? <laughs> now, Jen, you can't blame Angela for wanting to have a little fun. Yeah. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what do you say we do si do, huh, partner? Oh. <gasps> not now, Dad. Why not? We do it all the time at home. Yeah, but... Come on. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yo, they dance like they got two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will go to bed early on account of I can cover myself with all my covers. Time for bed, Angela. Sorry, Dad. Huh? Mom, you don't expect me to wear these, do you? They're the only clean ones left. I thought you liked them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to do. Did you hear about Angela Dosi doing with her father in the museum window? <laughs> it was Trace stupid. How embarrassing. I'm surprised she even showed up at school today. I guess we know what the anacondas are really like. <gasps> Warts and all. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I do not have warts, Nanette Man War. Hmm. Not one single one. Hmm. And this mole isn't one either. <laughs> I cannot stand being in that window anymore. I do not want people laughing at me, and I do not want them talking about everything I do. You go, girl. If it makes you feel any better, Angela, I hear you're a very good dancer. <laughs> Thanks, Gordy Reinhardt. But I am not going back. I am not going back to that window ever again. Yo, where's Angela? Come on, Angelfish. You'd better get ready for school. Oh. There she is, behind the couch. <laughs> Angela, we're going to play kickball after school today. Want to join us? She can't play kickball, witches. She's got to get back in the window and entertain us. I sure wish you guys could help me get out of this art thing. Maybe you could pretend you're sick. Yeah, then your mother would have to take you to the doctor. And I can recommend a good one. My ear, nose, and throat guy is on vacation, but my internist will do in a pinch. That way, you'd get out of the window. That is a great idea. You guys are the best. Oh, my stomach, the pain. Angela, what's the matter? Are you getting sick? Well, you don't have a fever, so we don't need to see a doctor. Maybe I'll keep you home today just to be safe. You can stay with me here in the window. But you know, Mom, suddenly I'm feeling much better. I think it must have been a two-minute flu. And it has already been two minutes. Hello? Well... I've made it through four days already. I guess I can make it through one more, right? Then I'll have all weekend to do stuff with you guys. <gasps> great news, everyone. The curator of the museum just called. Attendance has been so great, they'd like us to stay through the weekend. Congratulations, G. Oh, so you enjoy staring at us like we're freaks, do you? Well, what if you were the freaks and we were staring at you? Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, and take a look at the freaks of Catwater Spring. <gasps> Angela, Angela, help us! You mustn't tell us soul how incredibly dumb we look during our incredibly dumb beauty routine. You will cry. Well, ninny warts and all, I promise I will not tell anyone. Except the whole town! <laughs> I wonder what weird and embarrassing things we shall see behind curtain number two. <laughs> I am sure you wouldn't want to do that in public. <laughs> And what do we have here? Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs>
Well, there's a sight that'll give you sore eyes. <laughs> being inside this window so much if my friends could be stuck inside here with me. Hey, that is a good idea that is not bad. Hey, Mom! Huh? Hmm. Who are these new characters? I'm so confused. I'm so glad you guys could come over. Thanks for letting me have a sleepover, Mom. You're the best mom a person in a window could have. The great thing about a window is, when people look Ooh. in, you can always huh? look out. Uh. Oh. <laughs> 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 